Hello, my name is Katherine Dunn, and I'm an optometrist with Eye Surgeons Associates. Welcome to FYI. I'd like to talk about a common growth on the eye called a pterygium, which is spelled with a silent P. The singular form of the word is pterygium, and the plural form of the word is pterygia. It is also known as surfer's eye or farmer's eye. A pterygia typically appears as a raised, whitest, triangular-shaped wedge of tissue that starts from the white portion of the eye and may grow onto the cornea, which is a clear domed tissue that extends over the iris. These tissues are benign, but should be examined to ensure that a form of eye cancer is not present. In most cases, pterygia are discovered upon routine regular eye exams. These lesions are more commonly encountered in warm, dry climates or in patients who are chronically exposed to UV light. It is thought that the closer one lives to the equator, the higher the incidence. There is a significant association between sunlight exposure and pterygia formation. It is recommended to use UV blocking sunglasses to reduce the incidence of pterygium. So what happens to the surface of the eye to cause these lesions to develop? Research has suggested that there is a degeneration of the membrane that occurs over the surface of the white portion of the eye, which includes the movement of collagen cells. UV light triggers the migration of these cells. In some cases, researchers have indicated that it could be a, a condition very similar to the development of keloids scar tissue that grows excessively, forming smooth, hard growths on skin. It is possible for a pterygium to become inflamed and uncomfortable. Treatment with topical eye drops is the, in most cases can resolve this inflammation. These lesions can also cause symptoms of dry eye syndrome as the tears over the surface of the eyes will not wet the eye evenly. It is possible for these lesions, if advanced enough, to change a patient's eyeglass prescription, usually by altering the astigmatism. It is important to monitor as surgical intervention may be necessary to prevent vision loss. The recommendations for asymptomatic small pterygia involve UV blocking sunglasses and frequent eye lubrication. More inflamed pterygia may be treated with topical prescription drops for several days. These lesions can be surgically removed if chronic discomfort or visual concerns arise. It is not wise to wait until a pterygium impacts vision before recommending surgical removal. However, even after removal, these lesions can reoccur. There are surgical techniques that may reduce the possibility of regrowth. Thanks for watching. For more information on eye conditions, refer to our other FYI videos on Eye Surgeon's YouTube channel.